Here's Couture. So in today's tutorial, we're going to make a graphic like you see here. And I was just kind of inspired by like um, kind of starry, mystical, esoteric sort of things. And I created um, this new brush that I really like in the background, which I think is really fun. So um, if you're my Patreon member, you can download all of the brushes um, that you see here to follow along with me, as well as the PSD demos and all of that. And um, I'm actually using this font today, which is free just this week only on Creative Market. So you can actually download this very font as well. And for this demo, I created a square graphic and then a vertical graphic like this. And for something like this, you know, you could um, create a graphic like this and then um, maybe offer it as a free download or, or create like a Instagram story template or um, a background like that, or even like a background for a phone for your, for your portable phone. So, um, you know, you can do a lot of good things, a lot of cool things with this, or you can use the same idea and create uh, digital backgrounds, um, templates, what have you. So I'm going to give you the tools and kind of give you a rundown of how I created this. So actually for this, um, I have some, you know, like kind of galaxy color palettes that I've released recently. But for this one, I kind of wanted to have like a play with the pink and a blue. And actually, I had found um, a couple images on Pinterest, uh, which I used to make my color palettes. And that's the cool thing. Um, if you're familiar with my uh, color blending brushes, my Photoshop brushes that blend the colors, um, then you're familiar with the color pre-blended color palettes. But a lot of you guys might not know is that like a lot of times you can just simply make your own color palettes from images. So for example, for this blue and the pink, I'm going to show you the images that I used so that I didn't have to like decide all of these, um, the colors, or I didn't have to like put them all together and pick a bunch of colors. I was literally inspired by these images and I'm like, look at all these blues. This is really pretty. I want to use this for a color palette. And then I saw this and I love these pinks and just kind of a cool blend. So first off, I'm going to show you how I made the color palettes. So to begin with, um, most of the time you can just hit Command M to create a pattern or go Edit, Define Pattern. And we can just define this as a pattern and start painting with the brush. But one of my little tricks that I do is sometimes I'll go through and I grab here on the left the Spot Healing Brush Tool. And I noticed that there's some little like super lights and darks here and I like these middle colors. I'm not going to really overdo it, but I might just touch up my, my, my color palette here and get rid of some of those bright lights, brights, whites, you know, and then kind of over here where it's dark and white, I might just kind of like brush over that with my, um, what do you call this thing? The spot healing brush tool just to get rid of those. And now I can define my image as a pattern. So we'll use, I'll just, um, I'll put this as final. We can use this later. So you can make your own palettes directly from the images, but I've also included my own color palettes for you that I made from these images. Um, so, and, and remit, yeah, uh, there, you can load them up and then just, you know, have fun with it. So I haven't included the actual images, but I've created color palettes from these images. And then the same thing for this one. And another little hot tip that I will tell you is I try to keep my color palettes like under a few hundred pixels, like max length or width. So this one is a little bit big. And most of the time I'm just taking screenshots for these color palettes. I don't even download the image, but I might go here. This one's a bit big. So I might go image size and then I'll find the longest. Yeah, this one's definitely too big. I'll take the, the height and put it on 200. It's okay. Or like 300. That's perfect. And then click okay. And then I'll define it as a pattern. And I'll put this one as final too. So you can see that we're using directly from this. So I'm just going to close those out. Now they've been loaded into my um, palettes, but I've actually for if you're a subscriber, um, I've created like, let me make these bigger. I've created um, some color palettes from those. So, oops, 
I actually applied that. So the pink and blue meteor. So you don't have to actually create your own color palettes. But so now that I've got that done, I just wanted to give you a little um, tip about making your own color palettes. So in case you find an image that you want to use, and instead of using my pink and my blue ones, you know, you can make your own. So it's really fun. So ooh, now let's go over here to my square graphic. And so I'm just going to kind of build this up from the ground up. So I'm going to take the text layer and the background layer. I'm selecting those layers here. And I'm going to duplicate those layers onto a new document. So we can kind of do it from scratch here. So this is what you can start with. And I will have my PSD files. Um, if you're a Patreon, you can download the PSD demo files so that you can see, um, you know, kind of, uh, you can play around with them and um, see how I made my documents. So first of all, I'm gonna get my pattern stamp tool and then I am going to go here and I'm gonna make these as a large list here so we can see. Um, here we'll go to like uh, final two, the one that's the pattern that we just described, or you can load up the ones that I made for you, or any other image you want. And then let's go over here. So we've got pattern stamp tool, we've got our pattern where the colors are, impression is checked, align not checked. So in my brushes, I'm going to grab dreamy, and I am going to paint here. And now if you look at this, this is a little bit like stronger than the one that you see over on the square, the demo. So I'm going to undo that and I'm going to take my flow down to about 40%. And I'm going to increase my brush size a little bit. Let's play with this. Now I have been um, having some CPU issues. So normally the brushes will not take this long to paint, but in, until I can get the Mac repair guy here um, in a week, I'm still dealing with a slow CPU. So bear with me here, but I am just going to brush like this. And this brush is like really fun. And I love that it's like, it's a little dreamy, it's a little soft, and it creates just like, I love the kind of effect that it creates with little bits of light, you know, inside there. So I think it's really fun. You can play around with it, um, like the pressure that you use it on. Um, so if you do a lighter pressure, it's going to be like softer. Oops, hold on. Let's find my square here. Ah, there we go. So if you use lighter pressure, it's going to be like not as defined of an edge, but you can get some really cool, um, really cool effects or whatever. So now I'm going to make a new one and I'm going to go pick the other color palette that we've made, or you can um, just use my pre-blended color palette that I've given you. And right next to it, I'm going to put like a, a little bit of pink. So I'm going to go like this. And my computer's being a real dork, but we're just going to ignore that right now. And that's just life because I'm still going to make my tutorials even if my computer is being a dork. And, you know, you can, I'm not going to do like all of these because my computer is being annoying, but just to give you the idea of like, this is a pink and blue blend, and then I'm going to show you how to make these little meteors. So. This is the pink and the blue blend, kind of an idea. I love it's just kind of looks like, you know, gives this kind of uh, ethereal space kind of galaxy effect. And then what I'm gonna do is go to my brushes and get my gold asteroids, which is really fun. And I'm gonna just like, and this is actually preloaded with some gold. So you can just go like this and have this really gorgeous gold. And I love like the jitter and the size and how they're sparkling. I think it is just really fun, but I'm just gonna undo that here. It got a little bit close to my, closer to my text than I like, but that turned out really cute. So you can just have some fun with this brush. I think that's really cool. And then another, one other little brush that I'm gonna show you 
Um, so I'm going to go and I'm going to go back to my pattern stamp tool and I'm going to get the sparkle one. And this one is just a really pretty, oops, my one thing to note, remember, this is really helpful. If you ever change the flow on the top when you're working with a brush, when, when you go to make your next brush stroke, the flow will still be down. So remember that you need to put the flow back up. So I'm going to undo that and put my flow back up. And then you can get these like, it's just really cool starry brushes, like really magical. So I'm just going to put some over here and then like over here. I think that's quite cool. And then maybe grab my blue and put some blue stars over here. So it's super ethereal, magical, gold. And I just love this effect. So I think you can make some really cool inspirational quote graphics or um, uh, posters or anything like that. So um, I think it's quite cool. And excuse me if I'm a little bit out of it. I have like not worked this past week and I'm just like a little, little out of it, little behind, but I am getting this tutorial done today. So anyway, another cool thing that I made was this little meteor brush and it's also preloaded with the gold. And so, and it's designed so that whenever you, um, brush like, oops, let me do this. When you brush like this, it's going to fade like a little meteor. So I just love that. And I'm just going to undo that though. I want a little bit more curved. So anyway, well, it's not perfect, but sometimes there, we're just going to pretend like that's okay. So I think it's quite cool. And I use like a lighter gold. Now, one thing you need to remember with the mixer brushes is that if you ever change the size, you're going to lose whatever color is loaded in them. And it's going to load automatically with whatever color you've sampled last. So if you want to play around, um, you can use my uh, side, my gold sidebar palette that comes with my 24 karat gold collection, but, or any gold image, like gold foil image or whatever that you want to sample from. And in this case, I'm actually going to include this um, in my Patreon download. So just in case any of you guys don't have the uh, 24 karat gold, you can sample from the special gold color palette that I've used. And for this one, I had just grabbed like a, a lighter gold foil like you see here. So if you don't have this and you want to do something similar, you can find your own image of a gold foil as well and just sample straight from the image. So it's amazing what you can do, um, like sampling from images, you know, and it gives it this really cool, really realistic foiled effect. So I've got my little meteor. Now I'm going to make a new layer underneath it. And I'm going to go back to the pattern stamp tool. I'm going to get the streaky one. And I will grab the pink color palette. And I think I'm going to take this flow down to about 50%. And then kind of behind this, I think that looks really quite cool. I'm going to brush a little stroke. So, and I play around with it to see where it like kind of looks nice, but that's kind of cool. So I'll leave that there and then maybe I'll grab my blue color palette and put a little blue over here. So you can make this cool little like meteor. And if you zoom in here, I think it's quite delicious. You know, you've got a little blue, you have got a little, um, pink and you with this brush stroke you really get those like directional strokes so i think that can really emphasize that like movement and you can make some really cool swirls around your design and then i'll make a new layer and i'm going to remember to put my flow back up and then for this we'll just grab like the the sparkles again and oops let's make sure that we're in our pattern stamp tool and i've got my pink color palette selected and I'm going to grab my sparkle brush and then I'll just um, add some sparkles down here, but I might want to make it a little smaller. So that's kind of fun, you know, having the sparkles kind of coming off the bottom like that, having a little fun with that. So that's kind of cool. I think it's fun. 
could put some sparkles up here or maybe just leave it on one side. I don't know. Let's undo that. And then I think to top it off, I'm going to make one more new layer and I'm going to grab my asteroids and maybe like, oops, maybe add some of these little rocky asteroids along with this meteor. Okay, that's not exactly doing what I want here. Okay, that's too much. Like that, that's kind of cool. Or I'm, I kind of want to keep it at the top end because I've got the sparkles down here. And then maybe if I have the asteroids up top. Anyway, you can play around with it and find something that you like. Ooh, that's a little too much. But you get the idea. And I'm going to go over here and show you. Here I, well, here I put some of this, the asteroids down at the bottom of this, or I put some over here. So, you know, you can just play with it until I'm going to take my brush size down. Actually, though, I'm going to go back over to my sidebar palette and go maybe over here. Option click to uh, load that up into my color palette, into my wet mixer brush palette. Oh, that's kind of cool. So put some little, putting some little streaks over here. Oh, that's fun. You get the idea. You can play around with it till you get what you like. I kind of like it small off the bottom here. But my computer is really just being a butt, especially today. But we're going with it. So that's cool. You get the idea. And as we can see here, I've done a little bit of the same technique here, here, and then on the vertical one. You can see here I have some of the light ones going off the side. So I like playing with those two, two different gold brush strokes together and playing with some cool things, but I love this one on its own, just the asteroid one. I think it's so cool. So much fun, so magic. So um, if you're a Patreon, go ahead and download um, all those brushes. They will be available on my $10 and up Patreon level. And if you're not, hopefully you learned something new today with this technique and you can use it in your own designs. And if you appreciate the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you love Photoshop brushes and you like illustrating with them. So thanks so much. And then if you have any questions, just let me know down below in the comments.